my name is Dr. Al Hearn and I'm the superintendent of Redwood Christian Schools and I am here at our middle school high school campus to tell you about our new campaign Revitalize Cubed where we want to repair, renew and reinvigorate the Redwood Christian Schools campuses and we want to do this by raising $999,999.99 in the next three years and with your faithful support I'm confident that we're going to be able to do that to enhance the education that our students receive here at school. We're going to today be talking about repairing uh, buildings and facilities, critical infrastructure at the middle school high school campus. We're going to talk about uh, renewing our middle school high school classrooms and we're going to talk about reinvigorating our fine arts and athletic departments. We do this every High School Campus, who is one of my favorite locations. This is our prayer walk area, where you can see we have different items for us to be praying for as we walk through here. And I'd like to talk a little bit about the repairing of our critical infrastructure on campus. In 1998, we built this campus with the plan to only be here for three to five years. 25 years later, here we still are and we're still going strong. But some of the critical infrastructures at a point in time where we have used it up and it can no longer be repaired. Uh, each of our classrooms has an air conditioning unit that is 40 years old. And when they break now, they can no longer be fixed. We can't get parts for them. So you can see three of them on the wall behind me there. So in the next three years, as air conditioners break, we're going to be uh, replacing them with new modern energy efficient units so that our kids are learning in comfortable classrooms. So we've now moved to the back section of campus. Uh, behind me is the uh, middle school uh, bathroom for the boys and the girls. And one of the things I'd like to point out about repairing the campus is all of this siding, wooden siding that we have, that's facing the west. It's at a point in time now where we need to start replacing the siding on the buildings because we're just having some wood rot start to take place. Uh, all the portable buildings we have on campus came from the temporary hospital that was put together after the great earthquake in 1989. In 1998, we were able to move the, uh, the, the portables here and they've been our classrooms ever since. Uh, I'd also like to direct your attention to the asphalt that we have here and how uh, you can just tell over the many years of use, it is starting to uh, crumble and spider and there's just a lot of sections of the asphalt that has to be take, taken out and is going to have to be replaced so that the kids have smooth surfaces to be running around on. So as we were walking the hallways, we saw an open classroom door, and we've come into Senora Phillips' uh, Spanish classroom, and we thought we'd just give you a look to see what the typical classroom currently looks like here at Redwood Christian Schools. You can see there's this, the traditional desks here in straight rows. Uh, Senora Phillips has it nicely decorated, and we just found a great group of students here inside having a good time today learning their Spanish lessons. So now here we are in Mrs. Cherry's classroom, and I would like to say a thank you to the people who came to our annual dinner this year and began donating towards the Revitalize campaign. The very first purchase we have made are these new tables in Mrs. Cherry's English classroom. And so this is going to be the look of the middle school, high school classrooms as we start to move forward in the next three years as teachers start to decide what type of flexible seating and what type of arrangement they want to have in their classroom. And finally, we're going to reinvigorate our fine arts and athletic departments. Up next, you're going to hear from our fine arts teachers. I'm Rachel Chow, and this is my seventh year here at Redwood. I currently am teaching elementary strings, middle school strings, and middle school and high school choirs. My name is Azim Ward, and I've been at Redwood for less than a year. This is my first year at Redwood. I teach band for elementary, middle school, and high school. Okay, my name is Crystal Becerra, and um, this is my first year at Redwood. I've been here since August. My name is Shannon Ferrer. So I've been here for three years, I've been involved for three years, and I've been teaching um, art for two years. My name is Charmaine Tilly, otherwise known as Mrs. Tilly. I've been here, I think this is my year seven. So I teach algebra, but I also teach drama, um, and I'm also teaching digital photography now, too. Beverly, Maine. I currently teach TK through third grade elementary music. Um, and then in the afternoons after school, two days a week, I teach a third through fifth grade 
uh, Royal Choir. And right now this year we have 40 kids in choir. Arts, it's a form of expression and um, as you heard earlier, a form of worship. Um, for me, not only that, it's also just a, a family that you can build. Um, and you're building all these different skill sets to glorify God. Art was like, wow, I would love to do that. Um, and I didn't expect to be here with and, and have this job, but now that I am here, it's a dream come true. Um, and, I, and I believe that the Lord really ordered my steps. Students will, would receive a diverse understanding of what music is about and the different cultures. Um, you know, I, I love to have fun. I'm, I'm disciplined. But I also like to have fun, and I think that is something that they would also get. You know, I'm mean, here at the, in the band program. Yes, we're we're playing all different kinds of music, but in the way we go about it, it's a it's a form of worship, and uh, I think that's an important thing to at least try at least once in your life. And um, um, I love working with the kids the most. Um, I think I, I get joy just being around them and um, hearing what they have to say. Um, from jokes to serious questions, um, it's, all, um, it's all a blessing. Around, um, as a teacher, watching my students grow from the beginning to the end of each piece or every performance uh, just makes me cry a little bit because um, my seventh year here and um, I've just been watching and how the Lord works through each kid, all the stories that come through, all the relationships I make and even students come back, I'm, I'm old enough now where students come back after they graduate um, sharing what they're doing. I have students who went on to do music who who's excited to go on tour with their uh, college choir, and I, I'm excited to go and watch that too. Um, but yeah, just watching the students grow, how God is using them, is uh, one of the biggest blessings here at Redwood. It's amazing, because I get to connect knowing Jesus better with making art in, a, in the lessons and in everyday conversations and in the discussions about um, what do we do when things are hard? What do we do when we're making mistakes? How do we show grace to ourselves and grace to those around us? Because we're having to like, work alongside people and share materials and, and deal with comparison and impatience and perfectionism and all those things we can bring the Lord into because He's involved with all those things. He's the one who helps us to be able to grow those character traits of patience and, and showing kindness and mercy to the people around us. Um. I, I am so grateful because um, not only can I, the, the music that I choose to teach the, the students, I can do Christ-centered praise and worship music, but I can also help them to understand there are other styles of music that are still glorifying to the Lord because God is one who made music and he is the one who made their voices and he is the one who gave them the intellect to be able to learn how to play music on the instruments and all of those things. So um, because I think music is body, mind, soul, and spirit, it's, it's all of those things. And when we can focus that music on the, the fact that it's God who's given it to us and God expects us to use it, have a responsibility with it, but he also wants us to enjoy the music and to use it, that to me is, is just awesome to be able to share that with the students. Having heard from the heart of our fine arts program, I would like you to partner with us with Revitalize Cubed and to give generously to help reinvigorate the fine arts department so that our students can have the equipment that they need, the tools that they need, and the trips that they need in order to ultimately glorify God with their gifts, talents, and abilities. So now we've moved to our uh, uh, middle school, high school, practice softball field. And to start with, I'd like to say thank you to last year's crab feed donors who raised the funds to put up this new backstop. 
Now phase two of this is to create a game playable softball field. And to do so, we need to add safety fences down each line and netting all the way around the back, as well as improving our irrigation system from the soccer field and moving it over into the softball field as well. I'd like to say thank you for coming and watching our video tonight and I'd like to ask you to partner with us and become one of our faithful sponsors. I'd like to ask you to make a donation to help us revitalize Redwood Christian Schools as we work on repairing, renewing, and reinvigorating all aspects of Redwood Christian Schools education as we continue to offer a Christ-centered education which will equip students for daily living and eternal life.